and reorganization. We must try, within as brief a space as possible, first, to describe the procedure followed. Prior to the amendatory legislation beginning in 1933, secondly, to summarize the changes brought about by the recent statutes, and finally, to evaluate the bondholder's position as it now appears. The latter will be especially difficult, since the new laws have not yet had time to prove their merits or deficiencies in actual practice. The old pattern for corporate reorganization went usually as follows. In a 